Today let's look at, why do we conduct research? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for simplified notes and data analysis techniques. Measurement of the occurrence of events over time is a fundamental objective of epidemiological research. How many people are becoming diseased? Why are some diseased? Etiology and causal effects. Diagnostics How can we tell whether someone is has disease? Intervention What can we do for the people with disease? Prognosis If an individual has disease, what is their chance of survival? The probability of experiencing complications. Patient experiences How does it feel to have the disease? A good research question. A good research question should be feasible, interesting, novel, original, ethical and relevant. Study designs. Study designs differ in how individuals are enrolled, the role of time in the study, and the disease risk measures. Basic observational study designs. Cohort studies ascertain exposure status first, then follow over time to determine outcome status. A group of people or patients with a specific exposure is followed up for a specific period to determine who has the outcome or disease and who doesn't have the disease. Here, patients don't have disease or outcome at the beginning of follow-up period. Exposure to one or more factors that is thought to influence disease occurrence is recorded. Incidence or occurrence of one or more outcomes is also recorded. Cohorts are classified as 1. Concurrent or prospective cohort and 2. Retrospective or historical cohort. Prospective cohort design is when participants are followed up in real time to determine the incidence of the outcome or disease. For example a group of cigarette smokers followed up to see who gets cancer or not. In retrospective cohort we compare outcomes in subjects exposed to a common factor and another group of subjects not unexposed to that factor. All exposures and disease or mortality events have already taken place by the time the study begins. Meaning we are going back in time. Case control studies ascertain outcome status first, then determine exposure. Here we start with cases, for example, compare a group of patients with cancer, and another group without cancer. Compare the characteristics or factors between the two groups and draw conclusions. Cross-sectional studies ascertain exposure status and outcome status simultaneously. Here, we don't follow up participants. For example, we can collect data on children who have diarrhea and those who don't have. Then compare the characteristics of both groups. 